pressure exerted by a liquid column. Students, we have a trough, right? We have a trough, and this trough is full of liquid. This trough is full of liquid. We fill it with liquid. Correct? <coughs> within the trough, within the liquid, we assume, concentrate karke samjas ko achche se. We assume, there is a cylinder of liquid. We assume there is a cylinder of liquid. This is of height H. This is of height H. What is pressure here acting? P naught. The atmospheric pressure. This P naught multiply by the area of cross section is F1. The force acting on this imaginary liquid cylinder. Focus now. <coughs> the mass of the cylinder, which is liquid cylinder, which is an imaginary cylinder, is m. So its weight will act downward. So to support this imaginary cylinder, assume a force F2 is acting vertically upwards. Correct. So F2 is the force acting which is vertically upward. F1 is the force which is acting downward. So students F1 plus mg must be equal to F2. F2 is the force. See, imagine, imagine students, uh, this is, uh, this marker is a cylinder. This marker is a cylinder right and it's lying like this the upper point is xf1 and my hand is counter the force f2 my hand is creating a force f2 so it is at rest it means f1 the force here f1 which is that atmospheric pressure into the area of cross section plus mg the weight of this marker, say imaginary water cylinder, F1 plus Mg must be equal to F2. Then and only then it is at rest. If F2 is greater than F1, it will go up. If F1 is greater than F2, it will go down. Since neither it is going up nor it is going down, it is at rest. rest. It means F1 plus the weight Mg must be equal to F2. So, F1 plus Mg is equal to F2. F2. Correct. What is F1, students? F1 is what? P0 into A. Is it clear? What is mass? Area of cross-section into the height, that is the volume, into the density. Volume into density, mass, into G. What is F2? F2 is what? The, the net force which is exerting the abut, abut, force. force, right? Are you getting it or not? That is what the net pressure here, P into A. Is it right? Yes, sir. Or you can say it is a P1 into A, right? Now, A gets cancelled. P1 minus P0 because A gets cancelled is equal to what? H rho Z. What is P1? The pressure here. P0, the pressure here. P1 minus P0 is the net pressure P equal to H into rho into Z. 
So what do you find? Pressure is directly proportional to height. height. Pressure is directly proportional to density. density. And pressure is directly proportional to the acceleration due to the gravity, gravity of the planet, say Earth. So students, this is the derivation of the pressure exerted by a liquid column. Any doubt? No, no sir. Is it clear? Yes. Not in doubt.